Libra, welcome to your career and finance reading for the month of February 2021. This is Y. Crow Tarot. My name is Ebony. All right, Libras, as you know, I've gone ahead and pre-pulled your energy. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Returning subscribers, welcome. I have also included now time codes on the video, so if you prefer to skip the intro, because I do talk for about a minute here, you can just go down to the time codes and uh, select the start time for the start of the reading. For the rest of you, those of you who are new to the channel, welcome to White Crow Tarot. I hope something in here resonates deeply with you and you continue to come back and be a supportive subscriber. I am currently hosting a contest at the moment for someone to win a free reading with me at the end of the month. A winner will be announced in the new Facebook group for the YouTube page. You'll find the link to the Facebook group down below. If you're interested in being a part of the contest, just click the link in the description to join the Facebook group. I'll be announcing the winner of the contest there. All you got to do, guys, is like a video, comment on a video, and subscribe to the channel. Must be a current subscriber to the channel and let me know if you are participating, okay? The video with the most views, likes, comments, and subscribes wins, and then I will selectively pull a winner from that pull. Okay, guys? All right, guys. As you know, only general messages here. Leave the rest behind. If this is not your story, do not force it to fit. I look at current energy, but really, guys, current or past or even recent past or future, it's all time is fluid. We're all on different timelines in tarot. For some of you, this could be currently going on. For some of you, this is yet to be currently going on. And for some of you, not at all or never. Okay. Libra. Are we ready? Let's go. What's going on with you, Libra? We have Queen of Cups. Beautiful open heart space, Libra. Operating from a Queen of Cups energy. Lovely. Some of you could be therapists. Some of you could be psychic. Some of you could be fellow tarot readers. Some of you are working in a consulting space at the moment, I feel the need to say for a lot of you. You are working with people. A lot. Talking. Consulting. And healing. Healing yourselves as well, Libra. I feel the need to say that. You you might be the one sitting on that couch. Yes? <laughs> With your foot propped up. Yes. Helping others to heal as much as you are being healed, Libra. I feel the need to say. From a beautiful open heart space. Your intuition is highly active for you at this time, Libra. You're getting downloads. Your intuition's talking to you, whether you realize it or not. It's talking to you, Libra. Your strength is currently the sun in reverse. Why the sun in reverse, Libra? The happiness, the hope, the wish. Is it unfulfilled potential that you feel? Is it the strength is you know what your strength is. You are happy. But it's like you're not letting yourself be happy. It's like, I know what my happiness is. I know what brings me joy. Could be dealing with a Leo, by the way, or an Aries. I know what brings me joy. But I'm not quite fully allowing myself to enjoy it. Yes. Being hot, being... A little hard on yourself. A little tough. I understand. I understand. But you know what it is. You know what it is, and that's the important thing, Libra. Man or woman, you know what it is. That little bit of joy. And then, don't get me wrong, this happiness, this is this is your joy. So yeah, some of you could literally have children. And if children bring you joy in moments like this, wonderful. For some of you... This joy stems from your childhood. It's something you've held on to for a long time. Maybe even a passion that you've held on to for a long time. 
I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm looking at, but we will. Your weakness right now is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Wealth, or at least you perceive it that way. Not getting the payout quite yet that you want. Working on that stability, working on gathering your coin, building yourself. For some of you, could be going through separation. This could also be job separation at the moment or relocation. Uh, some of you have left old positions to embrace new opportunities as well. You've left old standing commitments to embrace the new. Okay? It's scary when you do that, when you change like that that's scary as hell i feel you libra stepping into an unknown territory kind of unknown unknown just because it feels like you're on your own yeah yeah but you're okay that wealth is there that's all i feel the need to tell you the obstacle to obtain it is the wheel of fortune in reverse what needs to come back around to you libra what don't you see coming back around to you the success that wants to come back around to you libra the wheel of fortune as the challenge what do you need to bring with you libra Interesting. In your outcome, we currently have the Princess of Wands in reverse. Some of you are just feeling tired. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of you could be dancers. You could be even exotic dancers. Exotic dancers or what you know. What you know I'm really feeling what this is is Your job or your desire, quite frankly, has to be bold, is bold. It's bold, right? Your dream is big and bold. That's what I feel. Yeah. It's big and bold. Mm -hmm. And that's nerve wracking, is it not? For some Libras, it is because you're constantly balancing those scales, Libra. Can't dip too far to one side or be unbalanced on the other side. I'm a Libra guy, so I know exactly what that's like. I'm trying to, you know, stabilize, stabilize. Which way is this wheel going to turn? Shall we find out? I am so curious now. <laughs> oh, God. More of your energy on the bottom of the deck, Libra. Two of Swords. What are we undecided about, Libra? Undecided. We have the seven of wands and now the two of swords in the upright defending your own mental clarity you want the clarity you want to defend it you're going to have your defenses up for a while to keep just to keep your sanity but you don't have to fight so hard you don't have to fight so hard labor you've got support i feel it i feel it there's a good energy around you at the moment I know it's taking you a second just to process. It's a process. You, you're stepping into a new version of yourself. I feel it. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is that therapist here? The Queen of Cups. Why are you here, Queen? Show me clearly. Why are you here, Queen? Philippa. Okay. Currently the star in reverse. The star. It's a hope and a wish. Aquarian energy. That star. You want it. You're chasing the star. You're chasing your dream, Libra. You are. It's just an unfulfilled... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Daughter of Swords. You're looking at it. You're looking at it. Yeah, right under that Ace of Wands. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yo, yo, it's a secret. I feel you. 
you're looking at that hope and the wish. You're chasing it. You are chasing your star, Libra. Yes, you are. It's just right there. Why? Why is that star here? What's back in it? Star, yeah, you. Strength. Well, it could be dealing with the Leo. You may have a Leo placement, by the way, in your chart. Strength. The strength to do so. You will have the strength to do so, Libra, to chase your star. Yes, you will. Mm -hmm. It's requiring strength. It's requiring persistence, dedication to see this outcome through that you want. Consistency. Yes. The happiness, because it's what you want. The weakness right now is what you want is to be happy in the endeavor. Be happy in the doing, Libra. Be happy in the journey. Yes? Why? Why is the sun here, please, for Libra? The sun. Oh, hello. Because it is quite frankly the obsession, boo. The devil in reverse. Good night. Happiness is the obsession. Happiness is the obsession in the general, in the literal sense. Obtaining your happiness is the obsession. You could be, some of you Libras, you may even have a Capricorn placement. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Some of you Libras are letting go of some toxicity in your life at the moment as well that is holding you back. And I'm really feeling like this is self-critical energy. This is very, very self-critical energy, Libra. <laughs> like, your strength being clarified by the devil in reverse. The devil can't touch that strength, Libra. That toxic energy can't touch that strength that you have. Not with you sitting in that beautiful Queen of Cups energy. Oh, no. The devil, in this little literal sense, is the obsession. It's the obsession to go after what you want. Yes. Why? What's backing the devil? Show me clearly. What's backing the devil, please? For Libra. What's backing the devil, please? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You. The Empress. The Empress. Your expansion. It hasn't happened yet. The expansion that you want. The abundance. Yes, you. Libra, Taurus, respectively. But you, ultimately. The expansion that you want. It's right there. It's in the strength. It wants to happen. It wants to happen, Libra. Your own expansion. What do I need to expand to be happy? What? Where do I... This is you, the universe, telling you. Where do you need to look at the weaknesses currently that are, that are in your work environment that you need to focus on to get better at, develop new skill sets, develop new processes and ways and patterns of doing things. This is quite frankly the, the universe reminding you that in order to expand, you have to get better at your skill. You have to grow in the skill, not just the expansion. So just, you know, it's kind of like practice. You just have to practice. You have to keep practicing what you're good at. That's all. That's all. Because the wealth is coming. It's right there. The expansion is coming. It's right there. Why are you here, though? Show me clearly. For Libra, it's like, you know, someone, yeah, the lovers. Beautiful. Gemini energy. The lovers. God, look at all this gorgeous. Oh, nothing but major arcana for you. Good night, Libra. Look at all this, ma look at all these majors showing up for you. Five majors in a row, Libra. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh, and you're looking at it. You're seeing it. You see it right all right there. Good night. Look at all these majors. The lovers? Yeah, because this is the soul path. This is what you're supposed to be doing, Libra. Sorry, I closed my eyes. I'm just envisioning while I get downloads. <sighs> so... The lovers. This is the love path. This is the soul path. What's backing the lovers? Show me. What's backing the lovers? Some of you may do this also with your partners. Okay, whatever this venture is for you that I'm feeling. We have... Okay. okay. I don't feel what's going on here. We have the five of cups clarifying the lovers. Some of you are working through some heavy loss, some heavy pain, that despite 
Some of this could also be job loss, that Ten of Pentacles in reverse, for some, not all. It's working through the pain of the past while moving forward. That's quite frankly what that is, for some, not all. Now, the lovers clarifying this could physically be job loss as well. Emotional loss of something you love that once brought you happiness and stability because it's in the weakness. Yes. But the lovers are here. Why is that wheel of fortune here, though? In reverse. Why? Why? Show me the wheel. Show me the wheel. Show me the wheel. Barriers. Wounded warrior. Because you're a wounded warrior, Libra. You're in this fight. You're defending yourself. You're defending what you love. Why? Why? Thank you. The Fool. I can kind of take this two way, a few, a couple ways. The Fool could literally be Aries energy, by the way. The Fool is basically a new beginning. In reverse, it's also telling me someone is having a hard time accepting a new beginning. A new beginning in their own life. So, Libra... You're just, you're just having a hard time at the moment, except taking a risk. You're going off in a new beginning. I feel it for you. I do. The risk, the risk, it's, it's scary. It's scary. Where are you going, Libra? Show me. Where are you going? Because you got a passion right there. Where are you going, honey? Brand new beginning, honey. Death. Scorpionic energy. Releasing the old to embrace the new. For some of you Libras, I'm sensing death was also part of the transition here. Okay. That's for some, not all. Loss. Yes. Loss was part of this transition. That is requiring now the transformation of you, Libra. Where's death going, please? Where's death headed? Yeah, death after over heartbreak. Yes. Yes. Some of you, you're dropping it. See, it just wanted to fall right out of my hand. Some of you are still very heartbroken over a situation, possibly even. I'm feeling this is actual loss, some of you. Some of you, okay? For others of you, this could be physical job loss as well, okay? Or loss in rom romantic avenues that caused you to make a turnaround, to go in a new direction. Because with the loss of family, especially, family, quite literally, family, you know, change in direction is typically typical, <laughs> right? It's not a laughing matter. It's just, it's, it's, we see it a lot in the process. Why do you think we read career tarot like this, guys? Because it helps us understand the energy. Because look, we've got the Queen of Cups again on the mother, on mother of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Because you're ready to come at this again from an open, loving heart space, Libra. You're you're finding your love in all this again. It may take you a minute, okay? <clears throat> I'll say that. It may take you a second, especially if you've gone through something heavy like this. But you're getting there, okay? What's advice, please, for Libra? Yes. New love offer, new balance, new coin, new job, something. And balance, boo. The butterfly. Balance of a new beginning. Balance of a solid commitment. Guys, you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Mother of Cups 
on the bottom of the deck. We began with the Mother of Cups, Queen of Cups, and we end with the Queen of Cups. We bookended this nicely, didn't we, Libra? Because... What we start is also how, we're, how we end. How we start, how we go after something, is also how it will end. The good loving energy that we put into something is also what we'll receive at the end. In the end. Fortunately, deep within us, there's a direct connection to the divine. Now, Libra, some of you could be in higher level commitments here. We got the Queen of Cups both perfectly bookending this reading for you at the start and at the beginning. So please know that your connection to the divine is through the roof. In fact, the high priestess, who is the, the our intuition, yes, of all the queens, this is the only one she talks to. This is the only one the high priestess talks to in all of the tarot, is the Queen of Cups. Because the Queen of Cups deals with emotion, and she is the most intuitive of all the queens. Okay? So rely, rely on your intuition to guide you, the mothers in your life to guide you. They are, they're helping you, okay? Helping you, helping you to see what you need to see, okay? Your soul journey cards, Libra, we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. And we have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. I say so, Libra. You're able to see it from both ends as well. Yes? <laughs> kind of cool. Oh, uh, yes. From Doreen Virtue, we have... See only love. See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings, and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. And your Archangel card, Libra, is... We've got the Temple Path in Reverse. Let's read that. Okay. It's the period of stagnation for you, Libra. It's okay. It's okay. The Temple Path is a beautiful card, though. Let's see. You got the reversed. Receiving this card reversed is a sign that you may have fallen off your path a little. You could be too focused on worldly possessions and material gain, or you may simply be maintaining old unhealthy habits of fear, limitation, worry, or doubt. Whatever is distracting you, receiving this card reversed is a firm message that it's time to make your spiritual life and evolution a much higher priority. Not doing so represents an important loss of power, so clear your mind, meditate, and open up to the presence of spirit. Whatever else you may have going on, consider this an important part of your personal and tactical plans. The support and inspiration of all eternity and countless loving spirits are available to you. Not turning to them is like cursing the dark when you refuse to turn on the lights. Don't block your blessings, Libra. Open up to spirit. Don't block your blessings. There's hope for you. 
All right, Libras, this is ask your angels a question. Have a question in mind. See if we can get an answer for you. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. See if we can get an answer for you, Libra. All right, Spirit, what does Libra need to know at this time? Show me clearly. Show us clearly. Beautiful. We have forgiveness, Libra. Forgiveness. <clears throat> Anything else for Libra? Thank you. We have weight. Weight. Anything else, please, for Libra? Don't stop, Libra. Don't stop. Libra, this was your reading. Please let me know if you're claiming this reading in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you. If you are, type claim it in the comment section below. That will also be count as technically a comment on a video. So if you're participating in the competition to receive a free reading from me, be sure to like this video and leave me a comment in the comment section. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Or return. Libra. I look forward to seeing you in just a little while for your Valentine's Day love reading. So stay tuned on the channel for more videos. <laughs> Talk to you soon, Libra.